What's going on, everybody? It's Jesse here with What Now Society coming at you from an awful, awful camera angle because I lost my tripod. I think I talked about that in the last video. So, for those of you that follow me on Instagram and stuff, uh, you knew that I kind of had something in the works here. So, it is 9 a.m. on Sunday. Um, I don't even know what the date is. Um, I've been on the road for about two hours. And I am currently, well, first of all, I'm actually driving uh, near, sorry if you hear my windshield wipers, it just started raining. I'm actually driving near where I, my first uh, apartment was whenever I uh, got out of college. But anyways, I'm driving about two and a half hours away to Montgomery, Pennsylvania, which is uh, kind of like around Williamsport, northeastern kind of area. So I'm headed that way because... I am going to, fingers crossed, put my deposit down on my new camper van. So let me rewind real quick. I'll kind of update you on a couple things uh, for this intro, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so last time you know that I checked in with you, I was with Ashley, and Ashley um, picked, uh, bought my previous van. So the story with my previous van was I had been researching building out and making a van exactly how I wanted it for years, probably two or three years. And I got the van, good deal, good shape, put a lot of work into it, both mechanical and else otherwise and was uh, taking some trips in it and stuff over the summer and I started, you know, the gears started turning in my head. It's something, I just needed something a little bit different. So I posted it online for sale um, just just to see if I'd have anybody and uh, Ashley hit me up. It was, on, it was on there for like two and a half months. Ashley hit me up and uh, she said that it was exactly what she was looking for so I um, we ended up getting together and getting things hooked up and uh, yeah, so now she has the van and um, I will make sure I share it in this video. She's off traveling the country so she just got back from, or she was just out in New Orleans, now she's in Baton Rouge and she's really taking the van on the journey that it deserves. So fast forward, this was three months ago so I kind of got in the lull. You know, I think everybody that goes through this kind of banning, ban life process kind of gets into these states of, uh, you know, gets a little, can't figure out what they want to do. So I started looking around, looking at different things, looking at uh, different versions. So I looked at other conversion vans, I looked at Class C's, um, truck campers, everything. So. I probably have looked at like 20 different things. So about a month ago, this uh, this this van popped up. Um, I was looking on Facebook. This van pops up, and um, I sent them a message, just kind of interested in it, and I never heard back from them. So you know, whatever. I figured it sold or it was previously sold. So I continued looking at things, and I found another one. I found the nice little Class C. And it was actually like literally two miles from my house. So went to go see it last week, toured it, needed a little bit of work, but you know, whatever. So I um, went, was planning to go and see this Class C and hopefully put a deposit down on it this past Friday. So I stopped back on Thursday just to make sure the guy was going to be there. And I said, hey, can I, can I take a look at it, you know, just a little bit more. So went in, decided to take a look. And um, this time I really spent some time investigating and I realized that a lot of the stuff the guy had told me about it was not true. So did some research about the guy because it was a dealership and it just ended up being that he is known for this kind of stuff and a little bit of a shyster and everything. So either way, I decided to walk away from the deal and I was devastated because I thought I finally found what I want and everything like that. So whatever. So fast forward to yesterday, which was Saturday, and I'm working I'm working a gig at a musical um, running stage, so this week has been crazy, and uh, it was like 9 o'clock yesterday morning, my phone rings, and it's a number from Williamsport, where I'm going. This gentleman answers, and he says, yeah, I, uh, you messaged me about a month ago about my, uh, my, about my van, and um, 
I just, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to get back to you. Um, I was getting it all fixed up. Uh, you know, I had it winterized, I had it pressure tested, I had it tuned up and spark plugs and everything changed and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And he's like, it's still available if you want to come see it. So uh, I was like, hold on. So I uh, figured out my schedule for today. I figured it was about two hours and 20 minutes from my house. And I was like, can I be there at 10 o'clock? Because I got to be, I got to be at a 1.45 call time for this musical, two and a half hours the direction I just came. And he said, yeah, I will be available. So. It is a 1985 Ford Fiesta conversion, and it is the whole deal. So it, it sleeps four. It's got it's got uh, the, the tub and sh stand up shower, toilet. Uh, it's got the Dometic fridge, uh, kitchenette combo. It's got the uh, fold down bed. It's got the bunk up top. Everything. It's all tuned up, all checked out. Um, it was. Uh, fixed up by an RV dealer and winterized over the winter. Everything is good on it. Mechanically, it's sound and everything is there. So that's where I'm going right now. So I am, looks like my next exit is in 10 miles and then I have about 11 miles after that and I'll be at the dude's uh, house. So probably about 25 minutes I'm going to be there. And uh, I brought the resources with me to hopefully put a down payment. So I'm going to take, uh, take a test drive comb over it. I got about an hour until I have to turn and burn back home. But uh, I'm going to go all over the thing, take a little bit of a test drive, and hopefully I'll be able to make the uh, initial part of a transaction today. So anyways, uh, the rain's picking up, so I'm going to get off of here, and I will pick back up with you guys whenever I get into uh, Montgomery here in about a half hour. So uh, stick with me. Stick with me. It's finally, finally, years and years and years, and I finally think, fingers crossed, I found what I've been looking for. So let's do this. All right, guys, I'm just sharing this with you because I'm pulling into the guy's neighborhood. And I was able to get here. Now I just gotta find, uh, I gotta look for the camper van. That's probably gonna tell Turn me. Left on Fredna Avenue. That's probably gonna tell me a good idea of where to go. There's Fredna. Turn left on Fredna. Arriving at address 265 on left. I'm back. I am back. There it is. There it is. Alright, I don't know if these people are camera shy, so let's hold on. Alright guys, so I'm sorry that I couldn't get all that on video. Really, really, really nice older gentleman. Um, super quiet little guy. Um, and he, was, he, he, he wasn't all about the camera and stuff. Even when I took a couple pictures, he was ducking out of the way. But behind me, right there is my 1985 Ford Fiesta camper van. It is unbelievable. Everything works. We took a ride. He's got all new tires, totally rebuilt underneath. He gave me a stack of receipts this big of everything that he's replaced on it. It literally runs better than my car. We, were, we sat in there, ran the furnace, pulled the beds out, everything, lit the stove. He's got, he even has covers for it and everything, custom covers for it. And it's mine. It is my, my, my camper van now. And I'm like, I, I can't, I can't even stop smiling. So I got to get back on the road because I got to go get to work. Um, so yeah, I am going to post a bunch of pictures on my um, Instagram. Probably just going to wrap up this video and just make it kind of a part one. And then part two will be next Saturday when I come pick this beast up and take her back home. So I'm so, I am so happy and so excited that this is like something I've been waiting for for a really long time and it really means a lot to me. So thank you guys for, uh, for sticking around with me. There's so much more to come. So much more hasn't even gotten started yet. Please don't go anywhere. Keep on coming. Like, share, subscribe. Come hit me on Instagram and get ready for a whole new adventure coming up because it's, it's all about to start now. So, all right, guys, peace out.